The most important element in the entire area, which we don't see from here, is the spring, of course. The spring of water, identified with biblical Gihon. Maybe the first thing and the most important thing that people in ancient times did is to build a fortification around it, to fortify it. And this thick wall, made of very big stones that we see here, right? Like this, like this, and around, actually fortifies the spring. No one without any authorization could approach the place. Now, what we don't see from here is that from the spring leads a channel under this wall down to the southern part of the city of David. On the way, it feeds the bottom of what we call the rock-cut pool. So this brings the water to the people down there. As for the size of the fortification, look at the stones. Some of them reach uh, three, four, five tons, metric tons each. Uh, we, of course, start to compare. And indeed, in this period of time, Middle Bronze Age II, which is about 1800, 1700 BC, uh, we have three good parallels around us. It is the fortifications in Tel Gezer to the west of Jerusalem, halfway between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, more or less. To the north, Tel Balata, which is ancient Shechem, today the city of Nablus. And in the south, uh, Tel Rumeda, which is the ancient city of Hebron. So all of them are dated to this period of time. And uh, this was the size of walls and stones uh, that people knew how to cut from the rock and how to handle and put into place in these fortifications. Because later in the Iron Age, uh, there were thick and massive fortifications uh, constructed even in Jerusalem, but they were made of small stones, a stone which a person can handle, right? Whereas this is, uh, needs another way of organizing the work. And this, of course, testifies to the ability of the people in that more ancient period of time.